good to see you kids too. <laughs> Today I have a pair of flip flops with me. Anybody like to wear flip flops? You have some on? Like to wear flip flops? Um, so I'm talking today about flip-flops. <laughs> so um, it feels good, doesn't it, after like long winter of wearing boots and heavy shoes to, to wear flip-flops, especially when it's warm out in the summer. Um, and um, what I'm going to talk about, about flip-flops is serving others um, and how it relates to Jesus. Um, first of all, there's a lot of good things about wearing flip-flops. Like I said, you know, your feet get to cool off. But there's a lot of bad things, too. Um, so how long, how clean are your feet after a long day of wearing flip-flops, right? Pretty, pretty dirty. Um, there's no shoe or sock on to keep the dirt out. So your toes, you know, your feet get pretty dirty. Um, in Jesus' time, they didn't have shoes or socks. Um, everyone could afford shoes. Who could afford shoes wore sandals. Um, and then you can imagine what a stinky mess that was without socks and just wear, walk. And they walked. They didn't really have transportation. They walked everywhere and in all kind of everything that was on the ground. Um, and it was a tradition that when you were invited into someone's house, you um, one of the servants would wash your feet because you don't want to go in there with dirty sock, dirty shoot, feet. Um, do you think there were many servants volunteering for that job? Probably not, huh? Who wants to wash stinky, dirty feet? Um, we've already established just how dirty these people's feet get. Who'd want to wash the feet of 20 or 50 or even 100 people? Um, washing the feet, oh, do you think like your principal of your school would wash your feet? Or the President of the United States would wash the feet of his guests? No. Um, but washing feet was servants' work, and only the lowly, lowliest of servants were made to do it. So when Jesus got on his knees and washed the feet of his disciples, it was a big deal. Because he was the king, and he was their teacher, their master. He wouldn't really have done that, but he was Jesus. Um, so they had left everything to follow him, and he was more important than a principal or a president. And he showed others, you know, what to serve others to, by washing their feet. Um, Mark 10, 45 says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Um, so seeing the man that they believed was a Messiah wash their feet sent a powerful message to the disciples. And it sends a powerful message to us too. Jesus is the King of Kings. And if the King of Kings could wash the feet of just, I mean, anybody, um, then how should we treat our friends, our neighbors, and even our enemies? So washing feet is a dirty job. It's one of the dirtiest jobs a servant could do. But it was not too dirty for Jesus. If Jesus was willing to wash the feet of men who are his followers, we need to serve others too. So that doesn't really necessarily mean literally washing people's feet, but um, like you can help others, um, you can um, do something nice for your brother or sister, um, do something nice for your parents without them asking you to. <laughs> I'm sure everybody can be listening to that part, huh? Um, so yeah, so next time we see flip-flops, maybe you can think of helping others. Do that. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Actually, that could be a 